My name is Zia. Hold on, bro. I gotta get in. Hold on, bro. I gotta <laughs> cut that. <laughs> nah, yeah, but you know, I just do what I can for the family. You know what I mean? Just do a lot of charity work. Yeah, my name is Zeb. I'm a family man, part-time YouTuber, full-time family man. This would be a nice role from like camera side angle. Grew up out here in Sac. 916. Show me. I never had a lot of money, right? My family wasn't, I wasn't on some dirt poor type shit, but my whole thing was like, everybody's trying to distinguish themselves, right? Trying to. You looking at two people that's about to be dumb successful. So I just, I'm just letting the ladies know like, look at these faces. Give us a few years. Once we, once, look, this all it come down to. Berkeley, cause that's our goal. We're trying to go to Berkeley. Computer engineering. That quick, hoes. And I had two watches on. Basically what I used to tell is like, I got too much time on my hands. And uh, that was just like a little conversation opener. I knew the hoes gonna be here. I wanna see what Nick does. <laughs> but how long did it take you to edit the videos? And... Three, four days, but it'd be literally all day. I'll be on my computer from like eight in the morning to like three in the morning. And I'll just eat like granola bars or something. With us, we weren't the most the smartest high school. We wasn't the valedictorians. We was that no, they didn't think we would get four. Now they didn't think we would be nobodies, but they didn't think we would get four. But we used good game, we used good information, we applied it, we got that's four. That's the most important it. part, niggas, that game. And applying that game. Here, I, uh, could, I could give you the game, but if you just gonna sit on your it don't mean nothing. A lot of dudes ask, oh, how do I get more girls? Talk to more girls. What if they take to the L's though? Hey man, that's one thing that I've had to learn <laughs> early. Don't be afraid of rejection. Rejection, we can handle it. Reality is, I'm not gonna be every cup of tea. But if 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 you can muster up that that, that courage to talk to them, because they're just we're all just humans. You know, communication rule the nation, Nick. That's one thing that I want men to to really know. It's not even about talking to women. It's just about talking in general. I live the, uh, the black American dad story. Most dads weren't in their kids' life. My dad was actually, he was present, but he was present being in a prison for 18 years. He was present for as much as he could be. Mom worked a couple jobs. Honestly, I needed, I needed nothing. I was never in need. I'll be honest, I was a bad kid. I was getting referrals, I was getting suspended. And then once I switched to Sheldon High School, my act completely changed. You go, you go, hey, you go. Oh, I think you lost. Nah. Mission failed. Someone was talking about y'all and I did not know who they were talking about. Like, Loki nervous. We gonna do it or am I gonna do it? You're doing it. Rejection! We can handle it. Damn, no look. Can somebody with me? You guys, you guys can't be We can't be recording? Sorry about that. No way. Uh, I can't though. I, I have a boyfriend. I was trying to do YouTube videos in high school, but they wasn't with me. I'm sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I get... Wait, what if my boyfriend sees this? He's going to. Oh. You look familiar to me. Hi, my name is Peyton. Live here at the Texas We are live at the tailgate. Texas State. Can we be in the video? It's good. Let's go. We got the minorities in the building, and I'm sitting up front. What's going on? I've been following you all since like. When I started to like have some success, it just made me want to go so hard of like, do you feel like you need to like be doing something to make money or make the business better every day? Well, I think we definitely want more. It just depends. Mm. It just has to come naturally because once you start going out of your way, you might get lost in some sauce. Mm. You see what I'm saying a little bit? Bars. Yeah. Our motivation isn't taking necessarily money. Our motivation isn't even necessarily going getting super famous. Mm. We Our motivation is like content. That's what we value the most. So it's like, if it takes us a month to, to feel like we got a good video or whatever, then the money and the and the growth is going to have to postpone. Because obviously you'll, you'll, we'll grow faster if we post more. We'll make more money if we post more. Obviously we want money, all that type of shit, but kind of like we said, you know, we don't want that to get in the way of the content to where it's like now we're, we're it's less quality, but we're making more money. Hey, bro. Yes, sir. How we doing? Cole? Yeah, nice to meet you, my guy. Yeah, right on. Appreciate it. Yep. But yeah, when we was on the come up, like one thing that we would do just on the come up, and this was actually Jay's idea, we would literally just write sticky notes and, and advertise them everywhere. You remember that? Shit? 
our numbers was going up gradually and we wasn't even like doing anything besides doing that and posting videos. Nah, yeah, that's that's around. I think we had like probably 100 subscribers at the time. Like we was just trying to think of ways to go viral, think of ways to promote our channel. So we would just write our, our name on sticky notes and put them everywhere across the city. So we would get people and like literally tell them like, yo, subscribe to the channel. We would just force people to subscribe. Let's go with the minorities. We're gonna be famous. YouTube video, we're kind of famous. Yeah. You want to be in it? Yeah. Nah, all good, all good. Hey, 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 Nice meeting you. Nice Thank you. you. Spend your money well. Okay. Hold on, hold on. You single? <laughs> Appreciate nice it. Hey, you. Hey, me, you la verga. Esa la vida. No, Espanol. <laughs> I gotta get my cloud up, bro. Let me get a pic. Let's make it happen. Eastern? Y'all wanna go Eastern? No, I don't. Hey, where's Wyoming at? It's Wyoming. north. It's, oh. it's north. Not Eastern. Am I north? You guys have a good one. So good. You too. I like your little brain. Thank you. East Texas I like that brain. You might have just found you a little demographic. Oh, they all love it. The braid is, um, a lot of people will ask that and it's like, damn, do people not watch Star Wars? Do you not watch Star Wars? It's basically just a Jedi braid. A Jedi, uh, a Padawan has, it's called a Jedi, a Padawan braid. So when the Padawan braid get cuts off, when it gets cut off, they're now defined as a Jedi. I'm gonna cut, get it cut off when I feel like I'm a Jedi. You know? What, what do you think you feel like that? I don't know, um, but I'm just gonna know one of these days. Gotta go to the Jedi Council and just be evaluated and see if I'm able to become a Jedi Knight. I, th I think that is probably one of the misconceptions with us is like we're constantly, cause obviously we film videos doing some party shit, probably just assume like, damn, these party all the time, but it's really just being on some chill shit like that. Like you kind of say, like the party shit kind of does get, and that's why you gotta constantly redefine yourself. When we first started, it was mostly just interviews, regular shit. But then we got to a point to where now when we do interviews, it's, it's kind of a combination of interview with vlog to kind of mix it up, to kind of add a little bit to it. It's not just the same interview, interview. It's like add to it, add to it. How can, I'm always thinking like, how can you add to it? But, but this goes back to just me too as a person. It's different people, different folks, different strokes. Do you think any of the people that when you work your Burger King are still there? Uh, yeah, probably. For real? Hell yeah. I didn't, I didn't know people that was there for 15 years when I first got hired. Dang. 20 years, some people. Have like, you ever gone back recently or not really? Not recently, but I have been back. I really don't like to go though, honestly. Uh, it's just kind of weird to me. I don't know, I don't really like to go. First job, I was at Burger King. I was 18 years old, fresh out of high school. I worked at Burger King. This is when the channel like first started. I used to edit at Burger King occasionally. I initially started YouTube, I use it like as a memory chip, like to be able to look back. I can't make fun of me on camera, bro. Like this shit is going, it's going, it's going on YouTube. Nah, but, so initially I didn't create it to like promote, you know what I mean? I created it for myself. So I could look back like, yo, this is my first day or like, not just my first day, but like this was my experience at CRC. We literally, like we would act as if we're already famous. Kind of like with the Zack Stone, like I'll be at Burger King. There was this one scene, I wish I had it, I could give it to you. But in at Burger King and like my coworkers is talking to me or something like, what are you doing, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I told you I'm famous. Like I got 30 subscribers, I'm famous. Like I'm editing right now. I got a bigger picture. I ain't gonna lie, this is, this is was crazy. Like I remember there was this one coworker I had. You know how people be saying like, my teacher said I wanted to make it. And it's like, part of you don't even believe it. Like, did your teachers really tell you that, my nigga, or you just? Yeah. It was cool though, I really, I, I actually really liked it here. The only negative was like- There was this one coworker I had, I swear to God, like, she literally told me like, I'd never make it. I, I just always remember that shit. She was like 30 years old. She was like a grown ass woman. I'm a young like 18, 19. People be trying to disguise disrespect as jokes. Like, she literally said that like, you never gonna make it. I think she was trying to be funny, but it wasn't funny, like, like sometimes if I'm on like a school campus or something, it don't it don't let it be shown. That's the homie. We we was on a video. It was like a collab, but this is the channel. Went to Europe for two months. When I came back, the was exactly acting like she was mad to see me. You, you went to Europe while you were working at Burger King. Yeah. For what? 
the story? Basically, my grandma, they found out my grandma had cancer. People like you, though. Can they get the upper half? Can they get the upper half? And all the snaps are going to be like, your grandma's pretty cool, bro. So I tell you, this is good content. You're a cool grandma. I love you. You're trying to talk me through it. Can I get it? I got, like, the chin. Cancer. And she was told, like, she had a couple months to live or something like that. And so basically, I just used all my college money and I took her to, like, on a trip because she wanted to go to different places in Europe. So it was like a. Plus, we afford this. That was my last thousand, Grandma. Oh my gosh. Did it No, it's all right. Oh my gosh. Family trip, basically, me and my grandma went to all these places. And I was actually filming. I could give you these too. But I was filming at the different at the different places. So like I did a video in Spain, a video in Germany. A video, and I, yeah, that was a whole nother story. One sec, one sec, one sec. Oh my goodness. How you doing, Grandma? Next time you go downstairs, sweetie, can you take my laundry down? Okay. Thank you. No doubt. This is the most unprofessional video of all time. But let's keep talking about this. There was this couple. There was two couples up here. They used to. No. I swear to God, on break. On break? Real talk. And then I had this co-worker. She had a, she had a kid. And she had a boyfriend who worked at a, uh, at Bubbles. It was like a car wash spot across the Her street. husband worked at Bubbles, but she wanted <laughs> I swear to God, she used to like try to ask me out. And and then I had another co-worker. Like, does it give you like weird vibes? Like crazy, crazy vibes or just bad vibes? Now, it don't give me crazy vibes. I just genuinely, I kind of be feeling weird. Like... <laughs> I love the chicken fries. <laughs> you love the chicken fries? I used to make the chicken fries. This is crazy. Now, so far, I don't see no one that I recognize. New York Square? So, yeah. Doing big things, huh? Trying. Yeah, I've been seeing you like doing all your videos and stuff. You show them on Facebook and stuff. For real? You enjoy editing or not really? Again, like... It just depends on the video? Yeah, it's either like I want to do the video or I don't. Yeah, that's how I be feeling. Hey, I man. hate that feeling when... You don't want to do it. Facts. A lot of people do know. A lot of people don't know. I think as a viewer, a lot of people also probably don't even understand the value in it because they just see it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like going to a restaurant. You don't really think about the chef. You know what I mean? You just enjoy the food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of people just enjoy the videos but don't really think about who puts it together or how is it put together or... Like everything, I, as far as editing, I just literally would YouTube it. So if I don't, like I don't know how to do a lot of stuff, I'll just YouTube it. That's another reason why I'm pretty slow editing wise compared to a lot of other people. But that's another thing, like I say, is just having ideas of like, how do you piece this together? What would be an entertaining thing or, you know what I mean? Yeah. What special effect can you add to it? I like the video, it was cool, but how can we kind of make it a little bit more unique to us? For people who have no idea what to do is like look at other create other creators, other things that you enjoy and try to figure out how to make it more unique to yourself. I see so many people on the internet, they literally just duplicate. Oh, they do this, so I'm gonna do it exactly like them. And it's like, there's no originality. Push-ups, and then five sets of 50 sit-ups, and then five sets of 20 pull-ups. See what I'm saying? So all together is 250 push-ups, 250 sit-ups, and 100 pull-ups. But if you probably don't do push-ups a lot, I would recommend five sets of like 20. Okay. Honestly, would work out at the hotel, but this is where the racquetball is, so. So I do four sets. Basically, he does five, I do four, and then today is Thursday, bicep tomorrow. So I'm doing uh, back and try. Gotta take care of the body. Oh yeah, definitely gotta take care of that body. You see any cuties in here? <laughs> it's hella. Hella? It's a college gym. That's a white girl city over here. You could do wonders here. <sighs> Mostly push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, dips. You know, the basics, calisthenics, putting in that work. And then after that, we go for a nice little, a nice little swim. swim. I think 16, 17, I was just heavily involved with sports and figuring out what I wanted to be after high school. Did you figure that out by the time you left? Yeah, I knew what I wanted to be after high school before I even left high school. How often, like, do you do this? Like Daily. Every day? Yeah, I've been doing this since since high school, so the summer after junior, the summer before senior year, you know what I mean? So. so I wanted to be a correctional officer, but you had to be 21 in order to do it. So if if you had to be 18 to do it, my life would probably be totally different right now. 
we started doing the whole YouTube. How to, uh, how to, how to game hoes one on one. Don't say that. Okay. How to game one on one. Don't say that. How to game. People. Oh no, he's here to play. I'm bringing him back. But listen, this is how to game a female through the phone. And that shit was just us just fing around, kicking it. We used to go to the gym, and then there was this place called Cream, and we would just post up there, and we would just knock. We would just go up there just to literally just talk to girls, get ice cream and talk to girls. You guys have a sandwich or no? Actually, we're out of the sandwich. We're gonna be out until like October 3rd. Mm. Is that what you wanted? Kind of. Uh, I worked at the, the gym, the daycare center, four years, and then I actually, I worked at a restaurant for a day. Oh, and then I also worked at a um, like a senior living. I was on graveyard shit. Like, 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. Graveyard. That job was basically funneling me and Zeb basically living together. Yeah, appreciate yeah. it, my guy. Appreciate it. What Thank you. Ryan. Ryan, you got anything you want to say to the camera, Ryan? Hey, shout out to my Norris. Been fans of these guys for like several years. Um, you know, I try to get as wet as possibly can, but we were, it's like really low on the sauce and stuff. All good, all good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. Dame Dad, she, he was also a big contributor in terms of like financial freedom and just reinvesting into yourself and whatever it is that you're trying to build. Upgrading the concepts of the ideas, going, traveling to different places. One of the biggest videos that we knew that was gonna be a hit, like before we even did it, we just had to go out there and do it, was are you smarter than a fifth grader Harvard? We knew as long as we could get out to Harvard University, it was going to hit. And at this point, I think we were probably at like, you know, maybe like 12K in terms of subs. That was one thing, I kept the YouTube channel a secret. Like the way I'm talking, I didn't know how my parents would react. Once it got to like, it's time to apply, my parents were putting pressure onto me. Like so when I was like, I'm done be trying to be a firefighter, I'm doing this YouTube sh I ain't gonna lie, like that, there was a big part of my family, like they just thought I was making a bad decision. I ain't gonna lie, my mom was crying about it and sh she multiple times like, you need to get a backup plan, you need to blah, blah, blah. Like she I don't know if you saw this picture. It's like little shit like that, I ain't gonna lie, that should be the greatest feeling because it's like, it's literal proof of like, I made the right decision. I like sharing shit like that because it's like, it's because of the fan base and I'm able to do this. Y'all changed our life, look. You take a lot of type of tests, you're locked in. Yeah, once I take a lot of the tests, I'd be locked in. I'd be going into the academy for three to four months. I'd live on the academy base so I wouldn't have time to film. And the day of, I just said it. Oh, it'd be so dope to be a, a big time YouTuber. It just seems like such a unachievable goal. Mm. And it's like, once you do it, you realize that this shit is achievable. And you start hanging around people and you start seeing their mindset and it's like, you have the same mindset as me, which anybody could have that mindset. When people try to deter people away from like what they want to do, oh, only 5%, 1% make it to the NBA, blah, 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 YouTube this. It's like, man, anybody can literally do it. Man, this is an exclusive video. Came up here on Chipotle with your boy Serge. We out here eating lords. I had to bring my own breakfast because, you know, this this college life is stressful. I'm trying to save some money. You gotta understand, I'm out here. I'm trying to save money, you know what I mean? Brought my own breakfast, brought my own. But I used to sleep in every class. Like, I always slept. I used to feel bad. I had the biology class and I had physics. I had hella just classes. Me up too, because with the YouTube, basically my sleep schedule was so then I switch routes. I'm like, what can I do that doesn't involve a lot of school, but you feel me is a respectable job. So I'm doing 24 hour shifts at the, at the fire station, yeah. right? Bam. All while doing the YouTube shit. I never really thought we could make it, right? Doing the YouTube shit. This is what gave me hope. We went viral. I'm laying in bed, right? We went viral on Twitter. First time. It, we gained probably like 3,000 subscribers from it. Then that's like the next week, we went on World Star Hip Hop. We interviewed a pro. Trying to be as serious as possible right now. Okay. We're not here to. Do you mind whatever we ask? Bro, I just paid a hundred dollars. Bro, what's the biggest out here a day? I make between four, five. Six. In my head, I'm like, bro. I remember I literally ran from work. I was at Burger King. I ran home, literally, and I just remember screaming the whole run, like, "We made it! We made it!" Like I'm t like crazy. Yeah, like we had regular jobs for dumb ass long. I ain't gonna lie. Like we had 800,000 subscribers and was working nine to five jobs. Yeah, I don't know, we just were so used to it. Like, 
But literally, the reason we quit our jobs, literally, I'm watching this Dame Dash interview. And it just basically, he just inspired me to just quit and go full throttle. We literally called my job right after the Dame Dash interview and was like, yo, I'm two weeks, put my two weeks in. And then Jay was, I, you know, because we lived together for years. I'm telling Jay, like, yeah, but I just put my two weeks in. And so he's like, I'm going to put my two weeks in. So he put his two weeks in, and then ever since then, that was like the greatest shit that ever happened to us. I always look at it from a third person perspective, and I try to be very self-aware. I think that's something a lot of creators lack. You just see it, but you don't realize, like you don't even under, you don't realize how you're coming off. You come off Man. as this, or you're coming off as that, or it per, you don't realize how you're being. Yeah, I couldn't do it by myself. Young men in their mid-20s sharing their Sacramento home. That's really the main thing. Yeah, just money, rent's high. Have the stuff you, you don't have to worry about, rent, finances, and food. I mean, usually I send him to the, to the, to the, uh, to the grocery store. To For the these guys, <laughs> working on their funny YouTube channel. First part of it. <laughs> but you know I don't like cheese. And making the most out of an unaffordable housing market. Right there, you see that right there? But uh, as far as having a big setup, you know. I guess it's more so not that I'm opposed to it, but I'm uneducated on on it. Like I didn't even know about that. Like yeah. two monitors, dragon clips. I've seen people. I've seen stuff like that before, but I wasn't aware of like how to do it. It's kind of like with cameras. I've seen people use fancy cameras, but I don't know how to which cameras they got, how to use the camera. So it, it's more so I guess from a lack of knowledge just ignorance just that goes knowledge. back to like knowledge is power yeah definitely knowledge definitely is power like you didn't even know what you didn't even know right. type thing not knowing what i didn't know and i was working harder than smarter because i didn't have the information so most important muscle in your body more important than biceps legs the mind so i think the mind is like a is like a tree you've never seen a tree die Kobe mama mentality. He's like a tree. The mind, you just, you just got to feed it. You really just realize a lot of the people who get far in life, these we're all the same. Because I know that feeling. I first felt that feeling. There was this, there was this comedian I named Andrew Show, right? I went to one of his stand-up shows. This was years ago. When we first had the channel, 5,000 subscribers, nobody. Small channel. Like, I just didn't know what to say. It just felt weird seeing him in person. Like, you see him on the phone all the time. I've had the experience where people meet us, they act as if they're meeting a celebrity. Like, they get super nervous, shaking while taking a picture. But the point is, is by being on the other side of the fence, you realize, like, bruh, I'm, a, I'm hella regular. But it's your perception of me that makes you go crazy. Stand how people can stand next to you one year. And next year, they cannot stand there. They're just going crazy. Week, or I got a, I got a deadline. Cause then you lose the passion for the art of it. That's what happened this summer for me. It, yeah. it turned into it's a like job. A yeah, like a job, and you lose the passion, and and that's one of the reasons that we're big on like not having deadlines. First vi big big video on YouTube, not on other platforms, but on YouTube, was a video called Betting Strangers. And we were sitting on that video for like like three or four weeks, not even three or four, maybe like two or three weeks. The video was done, but we would watch it and it's like, this isn't good. Today's bet is basically you have three attempts to score into this garbage can right here. <coughs> Give me my money! Oh! You don't get his number. I want jump juice for me and him. Starbucks and Jack in the Box. Is there a Jack in the Box over here? There's a Jack in the Box in there? in your Starbucks. You greedy! <laughs> Hi, excuse me. Uh, I'm Danae. Uh, can I ask you one question? Uh, can I get your number real quick? For what? Just for, <laughs> just for a video. I mean, I don't, I don't give up my number. No. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's okay. Where's the page? <laughs> I don't have no game with that. Medium Caribbean passion. He wasn't gonna post it. So at first we did it and we didn't like it. I'm like, let me just get an extra week of just to retouch up on it. I re-edited it and I, I still didn't like it, but because we had invested like two weeks into this video as far as editing and stuff, I basically just told Jason like, but whatever you want to do, I'm down. Personally, I didn't want to post it, but I'm like, if you want to post it, we could do it. And when we dropped it, it was our biggest video. A lot of people have a lot of shit going on, but they're not happy with themselves just because maybe how they got their things in their life, they didn't get it righteously and honorably, and they bend their morals. They sold their quote unquote and 
you're never, there's no accomplishment that's too big. You're always going to want more money. You're always going to want more business. You're always going to want more subs. You're always going to want more faster, better cars. But you have to make sure before you go to sleep that you're happy with yourself. You know, I just scrambled hard. And then, uh, what's the best meat? The ham, bacon, or, or sausage? You guys made it seem like Sacramento had no business. Mm. We got hoes, Nick. We got hoes. It's just we used to have way more. How did you know there's a decline? Like, how can you tell? Because, man, we we used to film. See, like I say, it used to be our main, like, primary place to to film. And now it's like, there's such a decline. It's like, we have to leave. You remember Jelly? Come on, now. Committed to Villanueva, which is a good basketball school. And then Villanova. Villanova. What did I say? Villanueva? Golly, that's what I like to see. It's something I'm still working on until this day. I'm not the, really, I'm not the best communicator. I see it when I talk to, to anybody, talk to you, talk to Zeb, talk to my friends. I got shit that I got to work on, but knowing that you have to work on it is important. Because knowing it and knowing you want to change something, that's where the progress comes in. And sometimes communication, it, it really just comes down to like the confrontation part of it, you know? That's also something that's like, I know, I, I typically, I don't like confrontation. I try to shy away from it, but I also realize it's like, ah, not everything, some things have to be spoken upon, you know? Some things don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for the niggas who ain't got no gym. Still get this work. Kids who want to become YouTubers, but they don't have the information. That's why we always say like, when we be like, we're selling game, we're selling information. It's like, with, with good information, you can change a person's life. You know what I mean? Knowledge you, is power. No, literally. If you change the way someone thinks, you can change the way they act. If you change the way they act, you change their whole life. So Five sets. So I'll do one, two, three, four. See what I'm saying? It's like yeah. one of each. But this is another thing, like I say, it's kind of different than your style of editing, but all the zooming in and shit. So when we would go to like Tahoe, I wouldn't have a camera, I wouldn't have a voice memo camera. So that's the only reason I actually got a phone, honestly. I would, I, I was using that for years, and then I needed a phone to record, like in Tahoe. And it's like, it becomes so business oriented that you lose the passion of the actual content. You see what I'm saying? So that's one thing creators got to be mindful of, you know, not becoming lustful of the money and letting that ruin the content. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he just acts like he's famous, which yeah. makes it kind of funny. And we would kind of do shit like this, like, yeah, I'm famous. We got 20 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Or it could go from the video game to this angle. I am lucky enough to have two lovely and open-minded parents who are beyond supportive. I'm going to take this to the like was on reality show about myself. So. And I think this is why a lot of people go Hollywood is like, I think they say this in the Bible, but it's like, as a man thinketh, like you literally, you are what you think you are. When everyone treats you like you're this, you start to believe that you're that. You become the perception that they have of you. I be just trying to emphasize like, bro, you gotta stop looking up to my Damn, in high school, she was my high school crush. Then once you become a certain person, it's like, you hear Tupac talk about that shit, like, hold another tangent, but it's like, that same is a nobody. And now she's like begging to get you. I remember Tupac said a quote, he was like, he'll be in the club, no one gave a f And like the very next day after selling like a crazy hit, he's like, the same people, they can't sit next to him without going crazy. Working out the, the, the little inspirational shit, all that shit. You could you could put it on some inspirational. Damn, they're inspirational. So it's no all. I like to sprinkle a little bit of everything to show. Like we are, we embody everything. But I think yeah. everybody does. All people embody a little bit of everything. And right. That's why I be emphasizing like even when we talk about the the inspirational. Shit, like 
we not preachers. So let's be clear. I'm not trying to make make it seem like I'm a saint. But some Word. shit is wrong. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like if we said, especially people like, especially us, like how do y'all talk this about hoes? But then that's all y'all is hoes. <laughs> yeah, I like hoes, but still hoes. You get what I'm saying? I got some genuine shit. I'd be like, every time I get into a plane, I'd be thinking if this shit crashed, right? Every time. Every time I'm in a plane, I'd be, and genuinely, I've said this to the homies multiple times, like, bruh, I could die tomorrow and I'd be, I'm good. Like, you gotta understand, and I kept emphasizing, like, I never thought we'd make it. Like, nigga, this shit in my life, I never thought I could do. It's like, nigga, I don't need nothing. I don't need a million this or a million that or 10 million this. Like, I'm completely satisfied because I'm, my cup is full. Now the goal is the game. So game, give game. Not even help change life, but just have people be get, get a different way of thinking, I guess you could say. Fear, fear. It leads to anger. Hatred. It leads to suffering. The worst thing you can do is convincing yourself of something that you know in your heart isn't right. All night, like now, if I'm tired, I'll go to sleep. Typically, unless I'm very excited about a video, I'll still have those moments where, remember I told you I'll have days where literally I don't eat and I'll literally just eat granola bars and literally edit from like seven in the morning till three in the morning, go to sleep, wake up three hours later. I've had days where I literally wake up two hours, like I went to sleep at eight, woke up at 10 o'clock in the morning and felt eager to get back on the laptop, edited. Oh, you trying to choose. What's that? You can choose. <laughs> come, 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 come. What, what would you rather be, feared or loved? I'd have to agree with you on that one. I, I'd rather be loved because when, when people do things out of fear, it's, it's, if I tell you to, to, to wash my, my, my car every day and you're doing it out of fear, eventually you're gonna, you're gonna stand up to me and you're gonna say, no, I'm not gonna wash your car today. Why? Because you love yourself. The fear will rule, but the love will conquer. Your whole life, you're told, bro, it's impossible, it's impossible, it's impossible. You have a better chance of winning the lottery and getting attacked by a polar bear. It's like, you can make it real talk. Like, no bull, not on some optimistic, anything is possible. Not, not, you could literally make it, bro. Like, for real. <sighs> trying to tell these niggas, nigga, I'm living proof. I just love the content. I'm not so much worried about, like, all that extra shit come. We never was worried about money. We never was worried about... 10 million subscribers like we wanted that but it was always just about making the best video that's why i kept emphasizing to you like but if it takes a month two months like i swear to god i'm being dead serious don't rush that shit. 